Welcome to part 36 of Adobe Illustrator Zero to Hero Complete course. In this video, we will learn how to use opacity mask in Adobe Illustrator. First create an object and apply the default black and white gradient. Although opacity mask can be filled with any color, it is best to use black and white. When made into an opacity mask, colors will be translated to their grayscale equivalent anyway. So instead of guessing how a color will translate, you might as well start off in black and white. Place the gradient map object above the desired image or object. Now navigate to the transparency panel by going to window menu and choose transparency. Now select both the object and the image and select make opacity mask from the transparency options menu. The result is an object that fades to nothing. You can modify an opacity mask in two ways. The first option is to select the artwork to which you applied the opacity mask. Then while selected you have to navigate to the transparency panel and select the opacity mask. This changes the focus from the left side object thumbnail to the right side mask thumbnail. You will notice that the layers in the layers palette have changed and that they have been replaced by a single opacity mask layer. Don't worry your artwork and layers have not gone anywhere. The changes merely reflect that you are now in a separate opacity mask mood, where anything you modify, create or delete affects the opacity mask but nothing else. While in this mood, you can modify the opacity mask by adding objects. Remember to use black and white artwork or changing the staking order. After this is selected, you can add and edit the gradient. The black gradient represents the transparency channel and white is opaque or filled. The second option for working with the opacity mask is to option or alt click the mask thumbnail, which will again put you into opacity mask mode. This time however you will see the black and white artwork that composes the opacity mask. With this option you can see exactly how your mask is defined. The downside of this option is that no other artwork is visible. And while you are manipulating the mask you would not have any context or how it is affecting the object it is masking. Make sure to click here to stop editing the opacity mask before editing other illustrator objects. You would not be able to select objects other than opacity mask if the opacity mask is selected. The two main settings for opacity mask are clip and invert mask. The clip option which is turned on by default defines the visible area of the opacity mask and the object it is masking. If the clip option is turned off, the masked area is defined by the opacity mask object. This means that if artwork goes beyond the object that is defined the opacity mask, the artwork will be visible and will not be affected by the mask. The other opacity mask option is invert mask, which as the name implies reverse the opacity mask effect. That's all in our part 36 of Adobe Illustrator Zero to Hero Complete course and I hope you all have enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to master in Adobe Illustrator. By the way, if you have not seen our earlier videos, please take a look. This course is especially designed for those who are brand new to Adobe Illustrator. It covers everything in full detail. Link is given in the description and first comment. That's all for today. See you in part 37.